So hi, hello and welcome again. Uh, today I'm collecting some insects with my students and we're gonna do a little bit of stereo microscopy. So let's have a look. All you, what you need is you need this uh, insect net, okay? And then what all you do is you sweep the ventilation using this net, hoping uh, to catch as many insects as possible. You shake them down, and then you have to add uh, some of the substance that I just showed you, and then we can actually anesthetize and kill the insects. And then we're going to use a stereo microscope to identify them. And after we sweeped uh, through the vegetation, uh, there are plenty of insects inside the insect net and now the students are collecting them by sucking them into these uh, glass uh, bottles. And uh, then later on we have to sort through them because we will not be using all of them, we are going to select only some of them. We do not want to kill too many of them. And there are not only insects uh, around but of course also spiders. Um, as we all know spiders are not insects. And uh, yeah, and here is uh, a nice uh, close-up uh, of uh, one of these spiders sitting on the fingers. Uh, we chose not uh, to uh, uh, take this uh, spider along to the lab but we released it again. Yeah, and here uh, you see again um, some students uh, collecting uh, some insects. And this way uh, you also collect uh, a lot of grass seeds and the uh, leaves and things like that. Of course, this makes it a little bit more difficult to find the insects. Yeah, you can see now there is, of course, um, also some plant material now caught. And so we have to look uh, through everything here to uh, find the insects. Yeah, and uh, here you see... Um, one uh, an entomologist, he's an insect specialist, we employed him for the afternoon because uh, he has a really a very good knowledge of biodiversity and he is able to sort through the insects right now and he releases uh, those that are not uh, going to be identified. So we want to minimize uh, yeah, the number of, of deaths, insect deaths, because we have to end up killing them ultimately. And we kill them by placing a tissue paper with some ethyl acetate uh, into the plastic bag. A few drops of ethyl, ethyl acetate are enough. And the insects will inhale the fumes and are therefore killed. Therefore killed. Now, uh, of course, we had a little ethical discussion relating to this uh, with the students. Some students did not want to do that. That was perfectly fine. But this is something which is absolutely necessary, otherwise it's not possible to observe the insects under the microscope and therefore it is important to, to adhere to certain standards um, and not to take uh, too many insects. And uh, yeah, this is uh, the place where we collected the insects uh, from um, and you can see nice trees in the background, um, tall grass, so not not too many people around. And it was also very good weather, we had very good weather and it was dry uh, and here we're now uh, walking back uh, to the school laboratory. Uh, all in all we had around I think uh, 45 students and five teachers. We needed that many teachers because we needed to support the students in using the stereo microscopes. And uh, this uh, field uh, was uh, very close to our school so it was only about uh, five minutes uh, walking distance. And back in the uh, school laboratory, um, we basically uh, sorted through the insects again and uh, we actually did not collect a lot of them. Actually, we were a little bit worried that we uh, did not have enough insects and we placed the insects on a glass petri dish uh, and we put it under the stereo microscope. And uh, yeah, here it is uh, through the microscope and the students had uh, to do two things. They had to identify the insect using um, a book. Uh, there is an identification book that we have and they also had to draw it. This is one of the few uh, biology labs where uh, we do not end up mixing chemicals but where students are actually very much in close contact to nature. And uh, this is actually the feedback that we got from the students in previous years, we've been doing this for many years now, is, is that uh, the students, many students actually lost their fear of insects and there it actually shows uh, them that it's important also to value, um, yeah, to value those life, life forms as well. Usually just smack them dead, uh, but no, from this point onward, I think uh, many students have a little bit more respect uh, to them. But for that, unfortunately, we also have to kill them. Um, and that's, of course, a, a, not a very nice thing to do, but that's uh, part of the lab. And uh, students also were basically were to draw the insects. And uh, yeah, that's a ladybug here. And uh, students, for example, did not know that ladybugs have uh, two pair of wings, like many other insects. 
And uh, so there are a lot of things that uh, students learn uh, this way. And also for me as a teacher, um, every uh, insect project uh, offers many new things to learn. Again, a picture through a stereo microscope that was one of the better microscopes actually. It was a zoom microscope. So by turning a knob, I could continuously zoom in. Of course, I lost the focus this way and it was necessary to refocus. Unfortunately, I'm holding the camera by hand, so it's not a little bit shaky. So I'm, I'm refocusing now, and you can actually see that it actually magnifies up to 70 times. It's actually one of the better stereo microscopes that we have. It goes all the way up to, from 7 times to 70 times. Total magnification, so it's uh, quite impressive what, we, what you can see here. Is there anything you want to say? You want to be in my YouTube channel or not? <laughs> um, I'm one of your subscribers, so sure. <laughs> You don't mind? I don't care. Okay, then can you tell me what you've been doing today? Um, we've been identifying different insects and right now we're just trying to draw them. And okay, and what did you identify? What did you find out? Um, it's a type of a beetle mm -hmm. and I can never pronounce the Latin name so I'm so sorry. <laughs> And this is uh, the identification book uh, that uh, we're using, it's in German. Um, unfortunately, we saw some of the students have some problems following it. Uh, so, But uh, it allows uh, students, uh, you comparing uh, the things that they see under the stereo microscope with the drawings, and then uh, they have to basically go through the whole book and then try to identify the parts. And for that, we need the help of an entomologist. And of course, if they've identified the insect, they can type in the name in the internet, in the internet, and then um, in Wikipedia or so. Sometimes there are pictures there, and then they compare, can compare their own insect with uh, the photograph one that they found online. This is not an insect; this is a spider again. And yeah, it's, if, if students uh, start to lose their fear of insects and spiders, then I think the project was already worth it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and some of the drawings that students make are really artistic. Um, we do not grade the artisticness of a drawing, so to say, but uh, we feel it's important uh, that students learn how to observe this way. And uh, the results that we get every, um, every time is really remarkable. Yeah. Well, this uh, was the insect project. It's one of those uh, rare opportunities uh, to use a stereo microscope. Um, I have to admit the picture quality was not always the very best. I just held my camera in front of the um, object, uh, eyepiece uh, of the stereo microscope. So um, a separate uh, adapter would of course make things much easier and better. But I think, uh, I hope that you still got a, a pretty decent impression on, on how to use stereo microscopes. In any case, uh, I want to wish you as always a nice day and uh, happy microscopy.